Ah oh, yes, the minimalist desk setup from last year. The one that was supposed to make me more productive and less distracted. Yeah, well, that lasted as long as my last relationship. But you're here because of my setup and not my love life. We have a ton of items to get through, so let's get to it. The centerpiece of my setup, the Uplift Stanton Desk. Now, if you've been around for a while, you know that I've had this desk for over a year. And let me tell you, it's been a game changer for both productivity and extracurriculars. No, not, not that. This particular model has a beautiful worn-out finish that gives the whole setup a warm, earthy vibe, which is a contrast to all the cold tech sitting on top of it. But the real MVP, the motorized height adjustment. You've got programmable presets, so I can switch from sitting to standing with the push of a button. No excuses for not getting up during those long editing sessions, though I'm still find a way to sit down. Now, you might be asking, why should I get a stand-up desk? Well, aside from the obvious health benefits, less back pain, improved posture, it's a great way to change things up during the day. I find that standing during creative work, like brainstorming or even scripting, really helps me think more clearly. Plus, it's kind of nice to think I'm getting some sort of exercise, even though I'm lying to myself and just standing still. And if you're first time here, hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to the channel. I feel like that should have been the first thing I said. But if you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead to subscribe. I love creating videos like this for you guys and save the video so you can come back and reference the items. All right, so I know I just said I had a standing desk, but let's be real. I sit a lot and to the IKEA Grub Spell gaming chair. It's the perfect balance of comfort and style. Ergonomic? Check. Sleek design? Check. Does it support my turbo posture better than my girlfriend supports me when I wanted to get a belly ring? Heck yeah. This chair has adjustable everything. Height, recline, armrests, you name it. The lumbar support is surprisingly good for a chair this price range. I've tried more expensive models, but keep coming back to this one because it just works. Plus, it's got the cream and leather finish that blends pretty well with my current setup. Perfect, minimalistic, modern. If you're sitting hours on end, you need a chair that's comfortable but doesn't sacrifice support in the end. I've tried many office chairs that look sleek but leave you with back pain after an hour. This one, not a problem. Whether I'm leaning back during a break or sitting upright whilst I'm focused, it's got my back. Fun fact, this chair was actually one of the first items I bought when I was creating my setup. I told myself if I'm gonna sit comfortably on hours on end, at least I should be comfortable. And now it's one of the few constants in my ever evolving desk setup. Onto the desk gear. This is the human centric laptop holder. It's sleek, stylish, and honestly makes me feel way more organized than I probably deserve to be. This stand cradles my MacBook vertically saving a ton of desk space and giving my setup that clean, minimal look. Well, as minimal as you can get with all this tech. It's honestly built like a tank, but it looks like a piece of modern art. Made from black walnut wood, it gives my desk a natural, earthy touch that perfectly balances out all the cold aluminum and tech. Yes, I said aluminum. No, I didn't mean to say aluminum. Please don't come for me, I'm sensitive. Plus, it's fully adjustable, so it fits laptops anywhere from 0.5 to 1.5 inches thick. Just use the four screws at the bottom to tighten or loosen the fit. And don't worry about scratches. It's lined with felt on the inside to protect your laptop's precious metal casing. What I love most about this is how it frees up the space on my desk, making room for my other gadgets while protecting my laptop from spills because Let's be real, my teacup has come dangerously close to tech disaster more than once. It's also weighted for stability, so it won't tip over no matter how clumsy I get. And honestly, standing my laptop like this, it makes me feel like I'm displaying art instead of hiding my procrastination device. Up next is this mat also from Uplift. You might think it's just a mat, but once you've used it once, you realize how much it elevates the entire vibe of your workspace. This mat isn't just for aesthetics, though trust me, it looks clean. It provides a smooth surface for both typing and using the mouse. It also protects my walnut desk from scratches. The texture is soft but grippy, enough to hold everything in place. It's big enough to fit my keyboard, mouse, and even my phone. Here's a pro tip. If your desk gets messy or even gets scruffy like mine does, a large desk mat might be your friend. Plus, it makes cleaning up spills or crumbs relatively easy. Just check it off. Now, moving on to my deluxe ergonomic mouse. 
I spoke about this one before in my previous videos, and I'll keep saying it again. It's a lifesaver for long editing sessions. It's designed vertically so your hand stays in a more natural position. Honestly, I didn't realize how much my hand hurt after using my other mice. Other mice. Mouses, mice, mice, right? The mouse has adjustable DPI settings, meaning I can switch between smooth, precise control for editing and faster speeds for if I'm gaming or, let's be real, zipping through emails. Plus the customizable RGB lighting is just a fun bonus that makes it fit right into the aesthetic. This is the Azure Retro Compact Keyboard Elwood Edition. If this thing looks like something straight out of the 1920s office, it's because it was designed to. But unlike all typewriters, this beauty connects wirelessly and won't jam when you're typing. This model features a stunning walnut wood top plate paired with a robust aluminum frame, which gives it the old school meets modern vibe. Not only does it look classy, but it's built like a tank. You could probably defend yourself with this stick in a fight, but I don't fight if I'm a lover. The mechanical keys are wonderfully tactile and give you that super satisfying click back sound. Perfect for when you want people around you to know that you're being busy. Plus, it's backlit, so it's not just for show, it's practical whether in daytime or nighttime. The magic, though, is in its versatility. You can connect via Bluetooth or use the USB C cable for a wired setup, which is my usual go to. Whether I'm switching between my Mac or PC, this keyboard just gets it. And yes, they even throw in some keycaps for you to switch between them. The LG 49 inch ultra wide monitor is my choice of screen. If you've ever struggled with two monitors that just never quite align or have that annoying gap in the middle, like me, I used to have a gap in the middle, it's close now. Oh, too close, back up. You can smell my breath. This might be your answer to your productivity prayers. It's the ultimate upgrade for anyone who takes their workspace seriously. Oh, you know, want to look like you're in a spaceship. It has a 32 by 9 aspect ratio and a stunning 5120 by 1440 resolution. That's like strapping two 27 inch monitors together with zero bezels getting in the way. Whether I'm editing, designing thumbnails, or just managing to create a amount of open tabs, this screen gives me the real estate to see everything at once with no compromise or clarity. But it's not just about size, it's also about that immersion. The curved display wraps around my field of view, making me feel like I'm inside whatever project I'm working on. Whether it's color grading footage or juggling multiple browser windows, everything is crisp, clear, and right in front of me. The difference between working on a screen and working in a screen. Ooh, bars bruv, you can quote me on that. Oh, and let's not forget the USB-C connectivity. One cable to connect everything, display, power, and data transfer. It keeps my desk looking clean and minimalist. That is no easy feat when you have a setup like this. Plus, the built-in 10 watt speakers, they're pretty solid for everyday use. Great for checking audio levels while editing or playing some background tunes. But let's be real, if you want the real thump, you might want to save some money and invest in an actual sound system. Still, the built-ins are a nice touch. Also, if you're interested in getting the monitor wallpaper, I'll put the link in the description. It comes in multiple aspect ratios to fit all computer sizes, so I got you. Now, as much as I love the massive high-tech monitor, sometimes you just gotta set the mood. That's where the Govi monitor strip lights come in. These aren't your average LEDs, they're smart, customizable and totally next level. I like to think of them as my backstage light for my workspace. These Gobi lights attach right at the back of my monitor and throw a subtle customizable glow that's perfect for setting the vibe. Want to go cool tone for those late night edit sessions? You got 16 million colors right at your fingertips. Need the warmth to keep things cozy during the long workday? Done. But what really takes it up a notch is the smart control. So you can adjust everything through Alexa or Google Assistant. These lights add ambience that goes way beyond just decoration. It's about creating a workspace that feels good to be in. The customizable colors and the ability to sync them with music just takes the whole setup from work desk to next level creative space. Trust me, once you've seen this once, you won't want to go back. For the monitor, you need a way to keep it in place. And that's where the Vivo monitor mount comes in. It's vital for anyone looking to maximize their best space. First of all, it's fully Versa compatible, meaning it can work practically with any monitor. It can handle up to 33 pounds, which is exactly what I need to keep my LG 49 inch from taking a nosedive. I can tilt, swivel, and raise the screen with minimal efforts. So whether I'm sitting on stand 
then the monitor is always at the perfect height. Another huge plus is its inbuilt cable management. It keeps those cables tucked away, leaving my desk looking clean and clutter free. I'm all about the minimalist look and this mount makes that functionality pretty well without any compromise to compatibility. Try saying that three times quickly. Again, like some of the other items in the setup, the goal is to be minimalist. It frees up so much space, makes the entire setup look clean and professional, and most importantly, keeps my monitor right where it needs to be. No more wobbling or adjusting, I just focus on the work in front of me. So here's a tool that may not seem like it's much, but once it's used properly, it can really set the mood of a setup. I'm talking about the BenQ monitor light bar. Not only does it add clean, focused light to my workspace, but it also reduces eye strain, something we could all use when we're staring at our screens for a really long time. The BenQ light bar sits right on top of my monitor, casting a gentle, non-intrusive light over my desk without causing any glare on the screen. It's powered via USB, and I don't need to worry about more cable clogging up my setup. But what really stands out for me is adjustable brightness and color temperature. Whether I need cool, crisp lighting to keep me focused during the day, or a warm glow to wind down at night, this light bar has got me covered. And here's the kicker, it has an auto dimming feature. So as the lighting in the room changes, the light bar adjusts accordingly. That means I don't have to mess with it consistently, it just senses the ambient light and adapts. And this light bar isn't just about functionality, it's all about comfort. By reducing eye strain and keeping my desk well lit, it really does make work sessions a lot easier. It's a subtle addition that makes a huge difference. Honestly, the way my desk is set up right now, with this light bar, the ultra right monitor, and the Gobi lights, I feel like I'm in a cockpit of a spaceship. I'm just missing a warp button and some space to explore. This is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo 4th Generation. If you're into recording music, podcasts, or just leveling up your audio quality for streaming, this interface is like having a mini pro studio right on your desk. And when I say user friendly, I mean it's plug and go. No fuss or headaches, just crystal clear sound right out the box. The Scarlett Solo has a 120 decibel dynamic range, which basically means you're getting your studio quality sound that rivals high end setups. Whether you're plugging in a mic, your guitar, or just monitoring audio, this interface handles everything with pristine clarity. Plus, Airmoon gives your voice and your instruments that extra shine, lifting them right in front of your mix like a professional console. Whether you're calling for music, starting a podcast, or improving your live stream audio, the Skylar Solo makes you sound professional. It's reliable, affordable, and packed with features you'd normally expect from much higher prices. Now, let's talk about some unsung heroes. The Sterling MX8 monitors are my go-to for accurate sound monitoring. These bad boys are eight inches of pure, balanced sound, and they're designed to handle everything from deep bass to crystal clear highs. If you're serious about mixing and producing, these speakers are a very good option. I've had them for about eight years now, and they still look and work amazing unlike the music I used to create. The wave guidance technology guarantees even frequency dispersion, meaning your mixes sound consistent no matter where you're sitting. Another cool feature is custom tuning the monitors to your room. Whether you're in a professional treated studio or just working out of your spare bedroom, the high and low frequency filters let you adapt your environmental for optimal playback. Plus, with XLR, TRS, and RSA inputs, it's compatible with pretty much any gear that you have. The Blue Baby Bottle SL is a microphone that's as legendary as it looks. It's perfect for capturing every subtle detail of your voice or instruments with signature rich and warm sound. If you've ever wanted to sound like a Radio Pro, it's a mic that gets you there. The Baby Bottle SL features a custom blue condenser capsule that delivers clear, detailed sound with rich lows, smooth mids, and sparkling highs. Whether you're recording vocals, guitar, or even piano, this mic picks up everything with incredible accuracy. Plus, it's equipped with a high pass filter to remove low and rumble and negative 20 decibel pad to keep your sound clean when things get loud. Its XLR output connects seamlessly with any interface and the cardioid polar pattern makes sure you perfectly capture what's directly in front of you. So great for minimizing background noise. Oh, and did I mention the shock mount and the custom wood box that it comes in? Beautiful. Let's continue to the heart and the soul of the setup, the Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch M3. This isn't just a laptop, 
It's a powerhouse when I'm editing, creating content, or juggling a ridiculous number of Chrome tabs. This MacBook handles it like a pro. I did mean it this time and I am not ashamed. Pun intended. Now let's dive into what makes this MacBook the engine into everything. First off, it's powered by the M3 chip, which means it's lightning fast. You've got a 12 core CPU and a 19 core GPU running under the hood, which is pretty much like having a high end desktop crammed into a portable sleek machine. Whether I'm editing 4K footage for Premiere Pro or running some graphic heavy apps, the MacBook doesn't break a sweat. One of the coolest things of my workflow is the universal control. Apple's magic trick that lets me move my mouse from my 49 inch monitor all the way to my iPad Air without any extra cables or apps. Oh, honestly, it's wow. For anyone balancing a mix of creative work, multitasking, or even streaming, the MacBook Pro is an ultimate all-rounder. And with its universal control, it just goes beyond being a laptop. It becomes the help for the entire desk setup. And if you're like me and like to switch between tasks quickly, this is a feature that can be a lifesaver. Now let's move on to its compadre, the iPad Air. It's basically an extension of my main screen thanks to the universal control. Whether I'm working on illustrations, watching videos, or checking up on emails, the iPad fits perfectly. It's loaded with an M2 chip, meaning it's no slouch when it comes to power. I'm always switching between designing with the Apple Pencil and multitasking on the Mac, and transition is flawless thanks to the universal control. The 13-inch liquid retina display makes everything look stunning, whether you're reviewing photos, reading documents, or quick video edits. And the Apple Pencil is a dream for creatives. Whether you're sketching or taking notes, it feels super responsive, almost like you're drawing paper. It's premium too, which fits really nicely with the setup. Up next, we have the FTF Light Lamp. This sleek and minimalist corner light is perfect for adding subtle yet powerful glow to your workspace. It's not just about illuminating your setup, it's about setting the mood for productivity or relaxation. The lamp offers adjustable brightness ranging from 3200 to 5600 Kelvin. So whether you need a warm ambience or a bright white light to focus, it's got you covered. With a metal stand and solid construction, this lamp is both durable and stylish, perfect for long work hours or creative sessions. The Oushu light lamp brings a flair to my setup. This lamp is not only portable and rechargeable, but it offers a unique aesthetic with its minimalist design. You can place it anywhere and its interactive, playful LED filament allows you to create different shapes, giving a bit more fun to your setup. The rechargeable 3000 mAh battery means this lamp can last up to two weeks with a single charge, making it super versatile for any area, whether it's your desk, bedside, or even our camping. The three dimmable levels lets you customize your light exactly how you want it, from mood lighting to task lighting. This lamp is also a statement piece for your desk setup because it has a reward-winning design and some really nice features. Plus, the fact that it's wireless means that you can move it anywhere within your setup or even around your house. It's a light and a decor in one. Now, we can't talk about lighting without talking about smart lighting. Enter the Philips Hue Go Lamps. This portable color changing LED lamp lets you control the mood of your entire room with your phone or voice assistant. Whether you're working, relaxing, or gaming, the Philips Hue Go Lamp adds the right ambience with millions of colors to choose from. The lamp is both wireless and portable, making it easy to move from room to room. It supports Alexa and Google Assistant so all it takes is a voice command to adjust the lighting. The IP54 rating makes it good for both indoor and outdoor. Plus, it offers on-device control, so if your phone isn't handy, you can just control the light settings right on the device. Smart integration is what makes the Philips Hue Go pretty special. I use the Philips bulbs all over my house and control it with Google Assistant, which makes it super handy when I'm in one room and I want to control the lighting in another like when my guests would need to use the restroom. It's actually funny to hear them scream. Cable management can be a pain, especially when you're trying to keep a minimalist aesthetic. So I was glad Ascrono sent over their cable tray, which is my new solution to clutter all those wires hanging under the desk. The tray hides everything seamlessly, and it doesn't require you to drill on the desk. It's super easy to install, no screws required. The clamps are strong, adjustable, and fit pretty much on any desk material. 
whether it's wood, metal, or glass. Plus, it supports up to 66 pounds, so it'll handle your power strips, chargers, and adapters without a problem. Not only does it keep things tidy, but this tray might be the last thing you ever use to sort out your cable management. Plus, Ascrono also adds some cable management strips and wires to help your cables keep in the tray. Honestly, it's so satisfying, just like putting the wires in, just keeping it clean. This set of two boxes by Kerrigan is made of solid wood, which not only looks great, but ensures durability. The larger box can handle big power strips, while the smaller one is perfect for those extra chargers. There are three cable entry slots so you can route the cords through whichever side works best for your setup. The wood finish even makes it an aesthetically pleasing addition to your workspace. And finally, I want to talk about a little bit of the decor. I got these custom neon lines to represent something that my dad always told me when I was growing up. To the stars through hardships. I know this sounds like the motto from Kansas or even something that was set in Star Trek. That's not where the inspiration came from, unfortunately. I wish I was that cool. This textured Italian wallpaper has this incredible 3D inverse texture that immediately gives the room this luxe feel. I went with the hexagon feature in black because it perfectly contrasts with the warmth of the walnut desk while adding a modern edge. The texture isn't just for looks either. It gives a tactile element that makes the wall space feel more refined. Fun fact, um, this was not an easy task. So if you plan to do this by yourself, expect a couple of hours, but if you have, uh, what are they called? Friends, it'll save you a lot of frustration, but the end result, absolutely worth it. It's like my office got a whole new personality and is a huge part of why I love working here every day. And finally, the plants. I've had a couple of greenery pieces to balance out all the tech in the space. There's something about having plants around that just adds life, even though these ones are fake. Not to mention, they help with the air quality. Uh, again, the fake. Don't be like me, go get some real ones. My go-to is this IKEA plant, which is basically zero maintenance, making it perfect for someone like me who doesn't exactly have a green thumb. I also got a small decor plant that sits right on my desk. It's a small touch, but it adds a bit of nature that makes the whole space feel a little more inviting. Honestly, I think every setup should have a little bit of greenery in it. I want to show you something. This is the Fluid Stance whiteboard slope. I had this given to me by Fluid Stance, and it does such an amazing job of helping me jot down my notes and ideas, especially for things like work and content creation. I was at first hesitant to put it on because it took quite a bit of space and I had to shift where my keyboard was originally gonna go. But in the end, I kept it and I quite love it. Like I said, I wasn't gonna add it to the setup, but I think it's deserved this spot. I've spoken about these two sound items before, the Ember 10 2 and the Marshall Speaker 4. For both of them, they have been my go-tos for speakers whilst taking a shower and bath, or a travel across the country for work. I go more into detail for both of them in this video, so if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. I've also done a video of the Flight Light Nicola right here, which is also something that I got because it just looks so awesome. It's just a way to add character to the setup and make it feel more alive. Now it's your turn. What item would you add to your setup? Let me know in the comments. I love reading your ideas. And if you want to discover more items that can be used in the setup for maybe lighting or gaming, I would suggest you go and check this next one.